if it implodes, if our solar system implodes, somewhere down the line, someplace, another solar system is going to have to move and adjust its course, its track, its rotation, to fill in the slack. Does everybody follow that? And we will be responsible for not only destroying ourselves and our planet, but possibly killing billions and billions of other life forms we don't even know exist. And they're not about to let us do that without taking some kind of an action. But they truly believe that we can change this. Yes? Is it true that the uh, planet X, uh, like uh, Zachary Stitchin talks about, the 12th planet is coming into our solar system? And uh, I've heard uh, several, I've been to several UFO conferences and people have spoken about that. that uh, is there a 12th planet? Yeah, is there yes, there is. In fact, there's a 13th as well, according to the Andromedans. There's one that's trailing behind that. Uh, is that going to affect uh, the Earth at all? A couple hundred years from now. Oh, I see. 250 years, I think, to be exact, or a little bit longer. You know, I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> yes? We can start out, um, you said, to... Uh, to understand that um, within, I think you said, the end of this year or the next year, there'll be dramatic changes. Can you kind of be more specific in, in those changes? Sure. Did everybody hear the question? Okay, about changes? <clears throat> According to the Andromedans, I'm going to deal with planetary things. There is a possibility by, that sometime by the end of May, a part of Japan will sink. It will and not this be in, May. this May. It will not be an accident. It will be created by. by the world government because the Japanese will not move into the world banking government because in order to do that they have to sell out their people, and they're not going to do it. They refuse to so far. To Understand that. Okay. They've also said, and I, and this was a year and a half ago, that by the end of this May, Bill Clinton will have to resign. He would not finish his presidency. They have not said anything to the effect to alter that. But the way things are looking, I I don't think that that's going to happen by the end of May. I maybe September. It'll happen because of stuff that goes on that went on in uh, Arkansas, Mina, and all that. But that's a whole other situation. Is he not cooperating probably, or what? Who? Clinton? Yeah. Um, no, it, it involves, well... He looks like a willing slave. I, you know, I don't know exactly what that end of it is, but I know that the lawsuit that is bringing, that's probably going to bring him down, involves the guy who wrote the book Compromised. Terry Reid, I think his name is. And, uh, in fact, this lawsuit literally reopens the Iran-Contra affair. Because they have film footage, video footage, apparently, of Bill Clinton and Oliver North standing next to an airplane as they're unloading cocaine. <laughs> and, uh, and also in this book, it makes reference to the fact that they, the IRS has been able to track anywhere between 30 to $50 million to the Cayman Islands, to a bank account in the Cayman Islands that belongs to Bill and Hillary. Anyway, there's a lot, but I don't, I don't want to get focused on that. Right. There's a lot. He, he makes George Bush the next Boy Scout, which is very hard to do. Um, okay, as far as our country, some of the things that they have said that are going to occur absolutely by 1996 is expected change in the currency. They've already said it. This October of this year, which is our government's fiscal year, 1995, $2.3 trillion of our national debt is due and payable. We don't have it. It's real simple. We don't have it. The reason we don't have it is because we don't print our own currency. And every year we have to borrow more money to run the government. 